The most common one. So one, which is OZ, is equivalent to 30 ml. To be exact, if you're talking to a chemist or a pharmacist, it's going to be 29.57 ml. This is the reason why your conversion, the conversion of your water bottle, if you calculate it just for fun, because we use 29.57. Another fun fact, a couple of fun facts. You two talking, huh? A couple of fun facts. I abbreviated as OZ. It can be both a measurement of weight and volume. Okay. Weight <laughs> and volume. Technically, back in the day, we use fluid ounces, fluid ounces for liquid, and an ounce for solid, okay? Or mass or weight. Okay. So now this is interchangeable volume and mass, okay? at least in the US. Okay. But if you hear fluid ounces, that's talking about liquid. If you hear ounce, then you'll have to question, are we weighing mass or weight? Or are we weighing volume or liquid? Is that clear? So just for information purposes, how I remember ounce in weight or mass is 16 ounces is one pound. This is so easy for me to remember. Like a water bottle, not the fancy ones. Like that one is big, right? <laughs> Normal, like whatever the the not bougie ones. Okay. okay. What? Where? Yeah. Okay. So sixteen ounces is one pound, and I always say this. Yeah. Another life hack: if you're in a hotel, you forgot your sneakers, so you can't use the gym, or you just want to work out real quick in your room, do some weights. Each water bottle, not the fancy one, not the bougie one, is one pound, okay? So you can tie multiple water bottles, because usually we have water bottles in our hotel room. You can tie multiple water bottles and use that as your weight. Each one is one. So that's how I remember the 16 ounces is one pound. But going back here, technically, liquid is fluid, ounce is spelled as F-L-O-Z, okay? There's also another unit that I want you to remember. This, this is a symbol for ounce. So if you put an F in the front, it's fluid ounces, okay? Do not, do not mistake this for dram. Dram is spelled as D-R-A-C-H-M or D-R-A-M, okay? Or fluid dram.